Hi, this is uh, Ahmed with 2MCC TV. Today I'm going to show you how to add a user, how to add a credential, and how to add a schedule. So we can either click it from here, so we can take us directly to here, or we can click schedule and press add and type in the date and the time that we will assign to a user. And then you save. If you wanted to add a holiday, you can add a holiday here, go back to schedule, and you can edit an existing schedule to select to add to the new holiday. So that's how you uh, create a schedule. How to add a person? You press add, you type in their username and last name, their company and email, and then in here is you don't check anything. So anyone who wants to open a door and stuff like that, you don't you don't uh, you don't check this one. You leave it as a default and when you're done you press OK then when you get to that user and you click here it will say zero credential then you type in add a credential and then you type in the card information date of issued active and when it needs to stop uh, the card to stop working so if the user is going to have a ten, like 30 days you put the information here and that's it um, the card number you add it there and you save it now if I go to the user group if I go to the access level and I go right here I can assign which floor that user has access to so if I go to the if I go to the readers if you go to the reader group all this information is automatically there so you can assign which reader and which floor belongs to. So if I go back to the access level, go back to the person, click the credential, and I click the access level, I can assign when I add when I'm adding before I save it, I can assign which access level they belong to. So this user is will not have access to first and second. So that's why it's selected. so if I go back to the access level this is where my access level is if you want to create an access level you click that and then you assign which reader they belong to and then you can go back to each user and assign it so that's pretty much how to add a user how to add a schedule how to add a holiday and how to add an access level thank you for watching this for more please subscribe to our YouTube channel